Xi Jinping secures unprecedented third term as China's president in ceremonial boat. Chinese leader Xi Jinping speak to foreign journalists at the Great Hall of People in Beijing on October 23, 2022 after securing a third term as leader of Chinese Communist Party. CNN Xi Jinping's unprecedented third term as China's president was officially rubber stamped by the country's political elite on Friday, solidifying his control and making him the longest serving head of the state of communist China since its founding in 1949. She was reappointed Friday as chi- president for another five years by China's rubber stamp. Registrator in the ceremonial boat in Beijing's Great Hall of the People, a highly choreographed exercise in political theater meant to demonstrate the legitimacy and the unity of the country's political elite. He received an anonymous 2,952 votes, followed by the standing ovation. The reappointment of Xi. China's most powerful and authoritarian leader in decades was largely seen as a formality after the 69-year-old secured a norm-shattering third term as head of the Chinese Communist Party last fall. In China, the presidency or state chairman in Chinese is a largely ceremonial title. Real power resides resides in the positions ahead of the party and the military, two key roles that she also holds and was reappointed to at a key Communist Party Congress in October. Nonetheless, his appointment as head of a state officially completes his transition into a second decade in power, and it comes amid a broader reshuffle of leadership roles in the central government, all the state council and other state organizations that further increase, increases she's already firm grasp on the lev- levels of power. Li Kuo-chang, Li Qing, one of she's most trusted prestiges, is expected to be a chosen China's premier on Saturday. Traditionally, the premiership is the influencer, influential role in charge of the com- economy, although over the past decade, its power has been severely eroded by Xi, who has taken almost all decision-making into his own hands. On Friday, the National People's Congress, called the MPC, also appointed other key state leaders, including Zhao Leji, as the body's head of head and Han Chung as the country's vice president. The newly appointed leaders all took the public oath of all legions to the Chinese constitu- constitution inside the great hall of the people. The MPC also approved the sweeping plan to reform institutions under the state council, including the formation of the financial regulatory body and the national data bureau and the revamp of each science and technology ministry. The overhaul is seen as the further step by Xi to strengthen Communist Party control over key area of policymaking. Challenges ahead. While she has secured a firm grip on power, he faces a myriad of challenges both at home and abroad. The Chinese economy is struggling to recover from three years of harsh zero COVID restrictions. Investor confidence is waning, and the demographic crisis is looming as the country registered its first population decline in its six decades. China is also facing a series of diplomatic headwinds from Washington and other Western capitals as relations plummeted in recent years over Beijing's human rights record, military build-up, handling of COVID, and growing partnership with Russia.
In unusually direct remarks on Monday, she accused the U.S. of leading a campaign to suppress China and causing its serious domestic woes. Western countries led by the United States have contained and suppressed us in all round way, which has brought unprecedented severe challenges to our development. She told the group of government advisors representing private businesses on the sidelines of the NPC meeting. She has now entered new historical territory. No Chinese leader had held the title of head of the state for more than 10 years, including Communist China's founding father, Chairman Mao Zedong, Liu Shaoqi, who took over as state chairman from Mao in 1959, was sacked in 1968, and persecuted to death a year later during Mao's termatorous termatu- Hermatos Cultural Revolution. After Mao's death, the paramount leader Deng Xiaoping in- introduced the presidential term limit in China's constitution in 1982 to avoid the kinds of chaos and catastrophe seen under Mao's lifelong rule. Deng also laid their in- institutional reforms to bring a greater separation separation of positions and functions between the party and the state. However, those efforts have been severely undermined by Xi, who greatly expanded the party's hold on power and his own grip over the party. In 2018, China's registrature abolished presidential term limit in the ceremonial vote, effectively allowing Xi to rule for life.